flamenco dancers, right? bullfighters, yep. badass bulls, that, that, that papas, rich, bold, in your face kind of Spanish culture. Yeah, I love that. Diverse. Yeah, but 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 so proud. Yeah, and the wine is kind of like that. The wine, although humble, is kind of it's letting you know it's in your mouth. You know what I mean? Like you 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 know you're drinking this wine. It has that uh, you know that bold fruity kind of taste going on. That uh, I don't know. It reminds me of a Spa- it reminds me of a Spanish kind of culture. Do you know what I mean? Yes. You you know you're in Spain. Look, Grenache is Spain. This is a grape indigenous to Spain. Yep. I can't wait Let's to talk it. about it. Let's do it. What is up, Watch Fam? Happy Friday and welcome to Liquor Run. I am Christian from Theo and Harris, and you are Rolly from Theo and Harris. Uh, if you guys are unfamiliar with the series, uh, Monday through Thursday and all over the weekends, uh, we talk watches here at Theo and Harris. You know, value in watches, Rolex, all, you know, Rolex, Omega, Longines, so many brands. But on Friday, we spend some time cracking up a bottle of wine, waxing poetic, yes, about watches, but more so about wine and value in wine, right? Just to relax and unwind, welcome in the weekend. Well, value definitely does exist in the watch world, it doesn't end in the watch world. Right. All right, before we jump into this mm-hmm. delicious wine uh, wristwatch check, what are you wearing, Daddy? I am wearing the gold Datejust with the Jean Rousseau uh, that, strap. That which, pairing is beautiful. I love this that watch. Gold, go, yes. gold on gold with yes. that blue strap, and it's not a navy blue. It has it's a little bit lighter. It's, yes. it's really really pretty. I call and, it Mediterranean blue. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I'm wearing another Rolex, a sports model, an Explorer. I love uh, it. Yeah, this is uh, this is like the great 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 grandson of the watch that climbed Mount Everest. Which is kind of cool. Very nice. Right? Put yeah. It on, on the wrist Love of it. Sir Edmund Hillary. Yeah. But, uh, Beautiful. That's it. All right, let's get into the wine. All right, so what are we drinking here today, Daddy O? We're drinking uh, what Robert Parker considers one of the greatest wine values in the world. Okay. This is uh, called Borsao, Bors- Bodegas Borsao, a Grenache mm-hmm. from Campo de Borja, Spain. Okay. Okay. And Where uh, is that in Spain? This, this, uh, uh, Campo de Borja is just south of Pamplona. Okay. Uh, a little uh, um, north northwest of Saragossa. Okay. So close to Rioja, not quite there, but very, very, very close to Rioja. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, it is the birthplace of Grenache. Okay. Cool. Have you had this before? Yes, we've had this. Before. We've had this yeah. many times. Yeah, we've had this. Before. It's a great wine, uh-huh. but you know, your your, your friend, your, your friends, your, your geeks should really know about. Give it this. a shot. All right, let's yeah. do it. Let's crack it open. So one thing you'll notice about today's episode is that we don't have our regular wine opener. <laughs> We've got this. Look at this. Old I, school. I know you guys probably have this at home. Someone has it. Your grandmother, your aunt. Yeah. <laughs> my father-in-law. <laughs> That's a real old has school. It. This is an old school uh, uh, wine opener. We're, we're going to use it. And I think uh, actually it's, it's quite fun. I remember as a kid uh, using this uh, uh, during the holiday season and uh, watching my uncle open up bottles of Matus, <laughs> the rosé cheap Portuguese wine. Uh, but that's what we had for the holidays, right? So, so you like this. I like, love the arms going up. And uh, let's see here. It's actually, it actually works quite well. Boom. Cool. All right. How do you there like you that? Go. And uh, why don't you pour today? Cool. Let's do it. All right, it's gonna give it a little bit of a whirl here. Yeah. <sighs> really, really nice nose, dark, dark fruit. Okay. Um, a, a little hint of, I would say, oak uh, to me. Okay. Okay, but but uh, but but it's really dark, dark black fruit. Okay. Is what I'm was uh, what I'm what I'm smelling. And color wise, um, it's pretty. It matches that. It matches the smell. I mean, you look. I mean, the the, the color is deep, but not deep like a cabernet. It's not inky right. purple. Right. And it's also not as light as a, as a cabernet as a, as a pinot noir. No, of course. Right. Not. So it's right in the middle. But um, oh, wow. let, let's cheers. Uh, cheers. Salud. Okay. This wine has got incredible polish. Um, it's got very smooth tannins. You know that that bite, that yep. grip. 
this is really good. This wine happens to be a little bit warm right now. All right, uh, so I, I would I would bring the temperature down just a tad, but but uh, it's got really nice acidity. Okay. It's got really good fruit. Once again, I, I taste like cherries. You know, black cherries. I agree with you. Yep, cherry, yeah, blackberry. Yeah. Uh, and um, this is really again a great wine. I know we we had uh, the last episode. You guys saw uh, one of the last episodes. We talked about uh, you know the, the Pinot Grigio from northern from northern Italy being a great value in my estimation um this is again uh don't even take my word you can take robert parker's word right. who, who's who's the godfather really of of uh, rating the wine ratings mm -hmm. uh but 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 it's been consistent uh as long as i've been i've been in you know in love with wine borsal year in and year year out always makes the top value list and quite frankly a lot of times Beats out a lot more expensive wines. Interesting. Four point fourteen point five percent alcohol. It's big, but it tastes like yeah. alcohol too. It's, yeah, it's got a lot. Yeah, of, yeah. yeah. In the back of your mouth, it, it does. Has that you alcohol. feel it right yeah, here. Right here. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, it's amazing. But but it doesn't have that. Again, uh, uh, it doesn't have the 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 overpowering uh, f uh, sensation. No. That that a big uh, uh, New World Cabernet would have, right. or Zinfandel. So, that, so now. Okay, so so the the, the grape is uh, Grenache. Garnacha. Okay, so what what is that? So Grenache originated in this area, Campo de Borja area. Okay, and um, you know what's interesting is that Grenache obviously plays a big role in 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 France. Okay. Okay. In in the um, in the Rhone uh, uh, Valley. So Spain is not the only place that this is grown now. Well, be because it was taken part by the Romans. Sure. Okay. Taken to France. Moved, right. It was also taken to Italy. Okay. Uh, in Italy, it's got the name of uh, of um, of uh, Uva di Spagna. Okay. The grape of the Spain. Grape of Spain. And it's grown in Sardinia. Wow. Uh, so it, it, in Portugal, I think it's called Aragonés. Okay. So so the the grape has traveled. The Spaniards were basically had uh, Grenache had fallen out of favor, uh, and in favor of more international Cabernet, Merlot, mm -hmm. other grapes, but it's had a revival. And boy, what a revival! It's hot. It's, now. It's, it's, it's hot. It's getting the recognition it deserves. It is, and, and it, is, it is. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Grenache is now the the most widely grown grape in Spain. Wow! So it is the number. It is the king. The king grape. Very cool. Yeah. So uh, you gotta like the little bit of history on, yeah. the, on the grape. Yeah. It's delicious wine. It's fruity. It's 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 deep, uh, but it's well polished. Like you said, what are you going to be eating with this wine? Well, what are you going to chow down on? Being that it, the, the the wine uh, is red, and it, it, it's got it's got a fuller body. I'm gonna go with meat. Okay. You know, I would go with pork. Mm -hmm. I mean, listen, wouldn't this be great with some some uh, you know pig on a on a spit? I yeah, mean, that would be phenomenal, right? Yeah. But if we, if we're not gonna be so fancy or really so so humble in a way, right? right? Uh, uh, you can certainly do a good. I would try some good steak. I I I, I would definitely go for for some roasted meat, be it. Yeah. Be it chicken, as long as it's got some aggressive seasoning, seasoning. and yep. flavoring, yep. then this matches really, really well. Beautiful. I mean, you can really even do pâtés. You can do stuff with a lot of flavor that can that can handle a little bit of the alcohol. Yeah. It, it, it has to. Otherwise, if you start eating things that are going to get overpowered, you know, you, you might as well just no. even eat. It's, it's not worth it. But right. Yeah. This is a good, it's a good wine. Though. We've had it several times before. I'm glad you brought it on today. Yeah. Cheers to this. Uh, yeah. I have, how much was it, by the way? Uh, this wine is uh, eight dollars. Eight bucks. That's 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 very very low. Well. Yeah, and you can get this wine anywhere from six ninety nine to like eight ninety nine, depending on where where you shop. Gotcha. But if you're in that range, six seven eight dollar range, you you scored a heck of a bottle, a hell of a red wine that'll please you over and over and over again. And just to remind you guys, Jorge Ordonez. Can you believe yeah, that? There you go. Jorge Ordonez, the importer, yeah. once again. So my my uh, your, my thesis, right? Rule yeah, my rule, yeah, it's, pro it's proving that these these importers follow the importer because because they won't let you down. You may not always like it, what but, they, but, what they, but they're quality wines. Yep. Yep. And uh, it's a great way. It's a great way to really build your palate. It's a to me, that's a great cheat sheet. It gives you a little bit of guiding. When you go to a liquor store, there's so many wines, and you just it's just overwhelming. But if you know, hey, shit, I know that name. I know the stamp. Let's give it a shot. I know Jorge Ardoñez, you, you, you got a fighting chance. He's done the high, you got a fighting chance yeah. of navigating to the, to, to, the, to the shop. Done the, the homework for you. 
Daddy-o, thank you so much for bringing this on. Cheers, salute. Thank salute. you guys so much for watching. Uh, please pick up a bottle of Borsal. Highly recommend it. Uh, it's a little bit hot right now, but uh, but this is wine is definitely something that we're gonna continue drinking. Yeah, no doubt. All right, salute. Cheers, cheers guys. Happy weekend.